Last year, Total Rugby travelled to Otago to meet Fumiaka Tanaka, the first Japanese player in Super Rugby. One year on and the Highlander scrum half has achieved another landmark by becoming the first Japanese player for 18 years to be picked for the Barbarians. I'm so excited and I feel very honoured to have been selected for the Barbarians. I'm very glad to be in a team with all the world's top players. Not only that, but everybody is very kind and friendly, which makes me feel at home, not just on the pitch, but also off it. I'm very happy. Having played for the Highlanders for the last two seasons, Tanaka has found it hard to break into the starting 15, hardly surprising, given that the competition is all black Aaron Smith. Personally, this season has been tough. I've been so frustrated with not being able to take part in matches, but I'm still in a team that participates in Super Rugby, and therefore I believe this is beneficial for the growth of Japanese rugby. I hope a lot more Japanese players have opportunities to play outside of Japan and to experience world-class rugby and help to raise the level of rugby back home in Japan. Japan's rugby profile has risen immeasurably with the hosting of the 2019 Rugby World Cup, along with the country's selection as a base for the latest Super Rugby franchise. I think both decisions meant a lot to Japanese rugby in many ways. Of course, we can expect a better approach towards Super Rugby, towards the national team and our fans. This will benefit the development for the 2019 World Cup and result in positive improvements. I can imagine it will be hard at first for the franchise. They'll probably start slowly and lose quite a lot, but if they can survive the first couple of seasons, I believe they'll gradually improve and eventually compete with the best. So it would be a great opportunity, especially when looking ahead to 2019. But before they turn their attention to 2019, the focus is firmly set on next year's tournament. I think we have some very tough games, especially against Samoa and Scotland. But I believe we have a great chance to beat them, as long as we're well prepared. I think we'll perform even better than we were at the last World Cup. But it all depends on the players' motivation rather than on the coach's performance. I believe we'll get better results as long as every player raises their game, focuses on playing and concentrates on working for the national team. Our aim will be to win three games in the group stage and to qualify for the quarter-finals. Japan began their November schedule in confident mood, having recently achieved an all-time high of ninth in the IRB rankings. I was talking with a player from Argentina, who also went up in the rankings having defeated Australia. And we thought Japan and Argentina should have a match to see which of us is stronger. I think, now we are higher within the international standings, but it would be a good idea to play many games against the stronger teams that are close to us in the rankings. This would help to give us an idea of where we honestly stand.